All right, I've decided that I'm gonna do a little bit of a gear swap. I'm gonna take all the hardware off of my Terrett 650 Sport, and specifically just the Pixhawk and all the components that go with it. I'm still gonna leave the motors and ESCs on here. And I'm gonna be swapping it onto my Hobby King Hercules. Now this thing was the first drone that I ever built, and it's been sitting around the garage for the past couple years and I'm really excited to get this thing flying again. I still have my old batteries or sorry the old motors and ESCs Afro 30 amp ESCs sitting on them and I'm gonna just use the same motors same ESCs but I'm gonna take it and put the Pixhawk on it so you can see that it's pretty well, I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty dusty just sitting in the garage. So I'm excited for this build and I'm doing this because I'm getting a new flight controller for my Terrett 650. I'm gonna get that all upgraded with something. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna go with the Pixhawk 4 or the Pixhawk 2.1, but be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing that build as well. So the first thing I need to do is disassemble my Terrett before I can actually start building. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, in some ways this kind of hurts me <laughs> to just start disconnecting all these wires and the hours I've put into making this work, but I know it's gonna be worth it in the long run, especially with new hardware coming in for this thing. I still hadn't even got my new receiver even connected or set up, so I was just kind of sitting there. That's why I wasn't really placed on there nicely. I have my ESCs all mounted with the correct um, number that they should be. So I have dots, dot one, two, three, and four for what motors they represent. This liquid tape is awesome. I highly recommend using liquid tape when you build your drones. That way you can cover up all your solder joints. Um, I'll leave a link in the description again of where you can get this. All right, so there are the components that I've just pulled off of my Terrett 650 Sport and it will be now going on to my Hobby King Hercules. Um, and this is just like a normal Pixhawk package you can pick up uh, from anywhere. Again, I'll leave links down in the description of places you can find those. And I'm pretty excited to get my, uh, my Hercules up and running. It has been a long time and it is an awesome, awesome copter. So we'll get that going and I'm really excited to get the, the 650 Sport upgraded with all new types of uh, hardware. And that's going to be an awesome build. So now what we gotta do is we gotta take all of this and install it on here. All right, one of the first things we need to do here is get the power module soldered up. So this has a, a power distribution board here um, that I put in at the very beginning when I bought this and that's connected to the four ESCs and then the motor. So I'm gonna cut this off and then solder in our power module so we can get tel uh, our telemetry data back into our radio to see what our voltage is at. All right, so far we're looking pretty good. We got the Pixhawk installed and I, what I used just is just some of these plastic mounting uh, risers and they work really well super lightweight and so I decided to go with those and have it up on this vibration dampener and so I've used this on my Terrett 650 and now I'm going to use it on here and it's always worked really well for me so it just keeps that uh, vibration from going onto the flight controller. This quad is starting to look really nice. I've got my GPS mounted on there 
and this is where I will be having my um, receiver. I think I'm going to stick with this X8R. I got some. Um, I got one of those antenna kind of splitter things coming in the mail, so I'll have it sitting out kind of like that. Got my Foxier FPV camera on front, and then I have my Foxier antenna down below here for FPV. 5.8 gigahertz uh, radio receiver, uh, radio transmitter is all I'm using, or video transmitter, and pretty cheap little transmitter. Tonight is getting late. I'm gonna be picking this up here in the next couple days, and see how far I can get this thing going. All right, it's been a few days, and I finally got to work on my Hercules. This is the Turnigy Hercules um, that I got from Hobby King, and. Like I said, this was just sitting around on my shelf, decided to put it together with the old components from my Terrett 650. And I'm really excited. I got all my stuff ordered for the Terrett 650 uh, this last week. So I'm gonna be coming out with more videos with that. But what do you guys think? How do you think this turned out? I still have a couple things I need to get done, finish up the FPV gear, I need to finish up my, um, how I'm gonna mount my, my antennas. But all in all, I think this braided sleeve really made it look sharp. All around the, the quad, I've tried to use the braided sleeve where I could. There's a couple things I still need to do. Need to figure out, again, how to mount some of the switches, antennas. Still have the FPV transmitter I need to mount somewhere under there. So this will be a two-part video. Um, or three or four, I might, I'll just be coming out with videos with this and uh, flight videos and configuration of it and all that kind of stuff. But this is just the first video, where I'm at, what I got, what I got done. If you guys have any questions about it, let me know. I'll leave links in the descriptions to my components and parts that I've been using. Um, I will be flying this with a 4S 5200 milliamp battery. I'm hoping to get maybe 15 to 20 minutes of flight time, maybe more, I'm not really sure yet. Um, I'll show you the props that I've got for it. That's what we're looking at. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did for more content coming soon.